Nick Wild Web, heavyweight, 11 and 0, 9 knockouts. Subscribe to Sport and Icon for your latest boxing news. Come! Right, so Nick Webb made his return to the ring since his defeat to Dave Allen and he takes on Dorian Darch and stops him in only two rounds. So this is exactly what I want to see from Nick Webb where he didn't take months and months and months off. He took his loss, he's learned from it, and he's got straight back on the horse to rectify it. And that's what he done. And this is what I've always said, you see, a loss should never define anybody's career. If you take a loss, so be it, it happens. Sometimes a loss is a good thing. It can be a good thing if you're willing to learn at it and correct the wrong and have the determination to jump straight back into the deep end. What I don't like is somebody to take a loss and then go for months and months and months dwelling on it. Not at all, okay? You take that loss, you see what happened and you get straight back in the room. And that's exactly what Nick Webb done. So. I'm pleased that Nick Webb got back into the ring. Of course, this is in Bracknell on the Siesta boxing card and he took out Dorian Darch in only two rounds. And for those of you who have seen the interview that um, I did with Nick Webb only two days ago on Thursday, we were talking about that, saying that, um, you know, you take a loss, you assess it, and you get back into it. You don't let it affect you because a loss should never affect anybody's career. There's too much emphasis on the O. Now, so congratulations to Nick Webb. On the card as well um, was Nick Webb's stable mate in Naylor Ball. Naylor Ball, 21 years old, went in there 5-0. and oh, And he took on a, on a, I don't want to say two seasoned guy, but a guy who has been in there with some of the best around right now in Sokolsky, Camille Sokolsky. And Naylor Ball took his first loss. As I said, he's only 21 years old, heavyweight, 5-0. and oh. But... This Sokolsky, Polish guy, he's only ever been stopped twice. And that was against Dylan White and Nathan Gorman. And he's been the distance with quite a few guys that I'm sure you guys would have heard of in Cash Ali, Sam Sexton, uh, Gary Cornish on two occasions, um, uh, Con Sheenan, he's been in there with as well. He beat AJ Carter. He took the undefeated record of Sean Turner. He um, went the distance with Tom Little, Martin Bacoli, and David Price. So for me, I think a 21-year-old 5-0 who didn't have too much amateur experience, wrong fight. Wrong fight for him. But you know what? They had like a lot of confidence in him. But I think that with a Ball, I think it's a case of too long out of the ring. When you're young, you need to be active 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 now of course things happen in people's personal lives which is going to postpone people's careers and things like that happen okay so a loss hey it happens it really is so you know he took a loss early on in his career and he's young enough to adapt look at it assess it accept it which is key for this moment absolute key and nick webb his stable mate can talk to him about this to say listen okay you took a loss I took a loss let's move on and that's exactly what you need to do don't dwell on it get back on the horse get back in the ring as soon as you can now for somebody who's only 5 and 21 years old he needs somebody who's been around the block a lot and a journeyman is somebody who isn't going to go there to win but he's going to go there to give you rounds learning experience that's what a journeyman is this um Sokolsky, not quite journeyman because he does go in there to win Okay, so this is what I mean by I think too early for Naylor Ball, far too early. But next time out, he needs to go in there with somebody who's got a hell of a lot of losses on their record. Okay, who gets starched quite quite easily. You know, he needs the practice under the lights, referee, live audience, because he may be, I don't know, suffering from nerves. It could be anything right now. But as I said, a loss should never ever affect anybody's career. So um, Nader Ball, do not let this affect you at all. Get straight back on the horse. Get yourself back in the gym as soon as you can. Take like a few days off. Dwell on it if you must, but get back in the gym and correct exactly what went wrong. And in a couple of fights time, meet this guy again and knock him out. That's 
pretty much the only advice that um, I could give Naila Ball or, or anybody who takes a loss. So as I said, there's too much emphasis on the O now. Listen, so just get back on the horse, get back into it. So congratulations to Nick Webb. I'm glad that he made his return to the ring and done it pretty quickly as well and went in there and got redemption as such for a case of he got back in the ring and he got the stoppage victory. He's a very, very big puncher. So congratulations to Nick Webb, commiserations to Nader Ball, and I fully believe that Nader Ball will bounce back. But as I said, this uh, Sokolsky guy, with all the huge names that he's been in the ring with, for me, he just should never be in the ring with him. But anyway, you guys drop your thoughts below about it all. Click that thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.